It's time for my spring kitchen tour. Keep watching. Welcome to This and That with Denise Jordan. I teach women how to make wise home health and beauty decisions so there's less chaos in their homes, they lead healthier lives, and they feel beautiful from the inside out. And today, I am sharing with you my spring kitchen refresh. I don't know, it has just been so gloomy the past couple of days. It's been rain, 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 rain. And even today, it is just overcast and rain, 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 rain. But I got in the mood to decorate my kitchen for spring, and then I wanted to share. So let me take you around. We'll start right here on top of the microwave, where I've got these two sweet little lovebirds. This pair of lovebirds I picked up at Cracker Barrel um, one day, and I just thought they were so cute for spring, and I just think they look really nice right here. And for some reason right now, I'm really loving white. So I'm bringing in a lot of white elements into the kitchen. So I've got these little lovebirds here. And I've had this little teapot for a while. I picked it up probably at one of the thrift shops. And it just says Hardy and Sons on the front. And it always sits right here. But I usually have something else up here with it. But this time, I just have the teapot and the lovebirds. And I just thought that's a nice little element for spring right there. And then as we move on around the kitchen, then we come over here to see what I've got over here. Now as we move around the kitchen, you see here the base for my Vitamix, which is in a like a nice chili pepper red. And it just really complements the green on the wall. But then right next to it is this beautiful little soup tureen which I picked up at the Goodwill, and I just love it. But I love this kind of a deep ivory color. It's kind of old farmhouse style, and it's got some really nice decorative elements on it. But I really feel like it really complements the red, and then this poppy seed red for this picture that I have here. And I put this picture here. I had it in the cabinet, tucked away where nobody could see it but me. And it had these utensils in it. And I thought, well, why did I bring these utensils out so my husband can actually get access to them? Because he could never find any of these um, scratch-proof utensils when he needs them. So I brought this out and put it there. And then this little uh, mortar and pestle, which I use for my herbs, used to live on top of the microwave. But I just thought it looks nice right here. It just kind of complements the color scheme as we go around. And then here's my um, cake plate here, which my own cake dish, which I tend to put things in quite a bit. It's empty right now, but when I have muffins and that kind of thing, it's in there. And then my curry. And then I brought out this little kind of a orangey color um, flour dish, which I keep chocolates in. And I had another dish there, but I brought this one out just to add a little bit more color. Uh, to complement the oranges and the greens. And then I've got this white dish here. So now this particular pitcher I bought last year at the Goodwill at one of the $5 challenges to use for a tablescape. And it's been up in the cabinet. And I thought it would be perfect for my spring refresh. And so the greens and the yellows and the pinks here perfectly complement this herb arrangement here. I've got some sage leaves and rosemary and mint that are growing here. They're so but they look pretty realistic. And then here I've got the sweetest little bunny salt and pepper shakers. They are just absolutely adorable. But it brings in that element of spring that I wanted. So we have that here. And then of course this little froggy sits here all the time. It's just one of those things to hold my sponges. And you can see I've got a um, sponge from the growth collaborative in this mouth. Now, 
Now there's nothing new on this side of the cabinet. I still just got my little green and white turtle measuring cups that are there and they're perfect for spring so I didn't need to move those aside. And of course you see my Mrs. Myers uh, dish soap and hand soap there. So there's nothing new on this counter. Probably one of the things I'm most pleased about in this kitchen refresh are these two pictures that I put on the wall here. I've got this one here and then this one here, which just really adds a pop of color to this kitchen for spring. I am just loving it. And whereas I didn't think I was into farmhouse, I find I've added some farmhouse elements. Like I've got that sweet little bucket on the floor there with potatoes in it, which I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And then there's a bar stool right next to that with a basket on it that's empty. I just love baskets. And whereas there's nothing in the basket right now, I'm probably gonna put some greenery in it, probably two more herb pots or something like that. But there's that. And then I refreshed the arrangement on my kitchen table. I brought out this two-tiered cake dish, which I normally only use for desserts at Christmas or special occasions, and thought about repurposing it for more of an everyday vibe. And I had these cute little black and white um, cow salt and pepper shakers in the pantry, which I would only get out once or twice a year, and I thought they would look really sweet on this cake dish. And the cake dish itself has black and white polka dots on it, then you've got the gold rim there. And they look so nice on this dish. Behind it, I've got a little butter cloche where I've got some butter in it when I want to use some in the mornings or in the evenings for dinner. But it just adds to that ambiance there. And then my everyday salt and pepper shakers, I just set them up there. And then behind them, I put this oregano plant, which I picked up in the produce section at Kroger. So I can just trim off of it as I need to when I'm cooking. I added this little thyme pot, which I can again pick off of when I'm cooking. And I usually would have it sitting back here in a different basket, but I decided to kind of bring them to the table and just add that little spring refresh here. And I am loving it. And then over here in the corner, I've also done a couple of things here. So let me move the camera around so you can see it a little bit better. So in this corner here, you can just see the base of the other poppy picture that I've got on the other side. And I'll move the camera so you can see the whole thing a little bit better. But here is that sweet little DIY floral arrangement that I made in an earlier challenge. And then I put my little white water picture here. And then down here on the very bottom is a teapot that I used to set up on my kitchen cabinet over on the other side. And then my little pot of onions. So like I said, I seem to have brought in some farmhouse unintentionally. And right here in the corner, you can see just a little plaque that says live well, laugh often and love much. And then right beside it is a little squirrel uh, feeder or planter or whatever, some kind of little squirrel figurine that is just so cute that my daughter-in-law gave to us. And I just feel like it all works. So there you have it. There is my spring kitchen tour. You see my newly refreshed kitchen, and I hope you love it as much as I do. Now here's your question for us today. What part of my kitchen refresh did you like the most? Tell me about it in the comments section below. I'd really like to know what you think. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up by hitting that like button. And I encourage you to subscribe. Just so you know, I raised three children I've managed a home for more than 45 years, so I've cooked a lot of meals, done a lot of laundry, and cleaned a lot of rooms, and kissed a lot of boo-boos. So if you want to learn more about running a household, cooking, cleaning, laundry, thrifting, plan with me, and health and beauty, subscribe.
well. I would love to have you as a part of the TNT community. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. I'll see you in the next video.